But before we made the trip to Luzerne County, Newswatch 16 made our rounds in the Poconos, where we checked in with voters at those different polling locations. And despite the long lines, they say it's smooth sailing and they're happy to be able to pick the next president of the United States. The line to vote at the Ross Township Municipal Building near Sailorsburg stretched down the parking lot. With a line like this and hundreds of voters comes a wait. Two hours and 25 minutes. <laughs> And you even set a timer? I did. I set my timer. Some people came prepared with chairs to wait their turn. Four years ago, we were able to walk right in, so I really didn't know what to expect. But, um, you know, COVID was kind of in big effect, and a lot of people, I think, mailed in ballots. But I'm really glad that everybody's here in person. At the northern part of Monroe County in Toby Hanna, it's a similar sight. Voters lined the sidewalk outside of the Mountain Center. Actually, my first year voting, first time registration, and uh, um, I guess it's about time, um, just looking for a change and uh, hopefully this these next four years will bring peace. Even with big state races on the ballot like Senate and representatives, voters say the main reason they came out was for the presidential pick. It's important for everybody to vote, to, to, to your time to do your due diligence and elect who you wish to be president. Voters tell Newswatch 16 since the presidential race only rolls around every four years, they want to make sure their voices are heard. We just wanted to vote and make sure that, you know, we did our part in making sure uh, the right person wins. Yes, <laughs> just doing our part as possible as uh, Americans. Just come out here and vote and uh, try to change as much as we can. To make a difference in the world. Um, we need a big change. We need good things to happen, and the only way to make it happen is the vote. Again, because of the issues here in Laughlin that happened earlier today, voters have until 930 tonight to get out to the polls and cast their vote. Emily Kress, Newswatch 16, reporting live in Luzerne County.